Hello, Paul fam. Today we'll be learning about the colors of light. Here's the course outline. We'll be learning about reflection, colors of light, how do we see colors, subtraction of light, and a quiz on this topic. Reflection is basically just the bouncing of light, and when you're drawing a diagram, make sure that you have your normal line perpendicular to the mirror here, and label your incident ray and reflected ray. Make sure your incident angle and the angle of reflection is equal. Also, don't forget the arrows. There are seven colors in white light. These colors can be seen in a rainbow. However, there are three colors of light from which all other colors of light can be made. These are called the primary colors. The primary colors cannot be made by mixing any other colors. Here are the primary colors. Red, green, and blue. Let us see what will happen if we add a different colors of light together. So if we add red color light and green color light, it will create the color yellow. And let us mix green light color with blue light color and it will give us cyan. And now let us mix blue light color and red light color and it will give us magenta. And what will happen if we added all the light colors together? It will be white. The different colors that you see on a mobile phone computer or television are all produced from combinations of the three primary colors of light. When you look very closely at some types of computer monitor, television or phone screen, you can see the individual sources of red, green and blue light. Changing the brightness of the primary colors make all these different colors which are 256 colors of light. For example, the color orange is made by adding red light brighter than the green. You have probably used a filter in your chemistry lessons. They are used to remove something from a mixture. You can also use colored filters to remove colors from light. If a transparent piece of colored glass or plastic is placed in front of white light, then only light of that color will be transmitted. All the other colors will be absorbed. Let us experiment with different colors of light here. What if we have white light and an orange filter? So the orange filter will only let light of that color orange to pass through if we have a blue filter still the same it will only allow light of that color to pass through we know that white light has seven different colors and now let us see here so only red light is transmitted from the colored filter and all the other six colors of light have been absorbed. A common example of colored filters is in traffic lights. The traffic lights use three identical white lamps and in front of each lamp is a colored filter, red, orange and green. Take the red filter as an example to see how it works. White light from the lamp is made out of from seven colors of light. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. 
When these same colors arrive at the red filter, only red is transmitted and the other six colored colors are absorbed. This is shown in the diagram. This is an example of subtraction of light. White light has six colors subtracted to leave only red. As with numbers, it is possible to subtract colors of light until the end result is zero. For example, if white light shines on a red filter, only red filter will get through. The other colors of the white light are absorbed. If this red light then shines on a green filter, no light will get through. That is because red is one of the colors that a green filter absorbs. When you look at a non-luminous object, you see the light that is reflected from the object. Non-luminous means the object does not emit its own light. Look at the flower in the picture. The flower is seen in white light. The flower looks yellow because it reflects only yellow light. The flower absorbs the other six colors in the white light. This is shown in the diagram. A white object reflects all the colors in white light equally, thus it appears white. And a black object absorbs all the colors in white light and does not reflect any, and thus it appears black. Let us move on to our quiz. The first question, what is meant by the primary colors of light? You can pause the video and try to solve it yourself first. Now I'm giving the answers. Primary colors of light are the colors of light that cannot be made by adding other colors. Let us move to the second question. Name the color produced when red light is added to blue light and red light is added to green light and all the primary colors when added together produce which light color. So for this one, you can refer to this, so red light plus blue light is magenta, red light plus green light is yellow, red plus green plus blue light is white. Let us move to the second question, the third question, sorry. A bottle looks red, what could explain this? Number one, the bottle is red and is seen in white light. Number two, the bottle is red and is seen in red light. C, the bottle is blue and is seen in green light. D, the bottle is white and is seen in red light. E, the bottle is yellow and is seen in blue light. So A is correct, B is correct, C is incorrect, D is correct, and E is incorrect. Here's a bonus question you can answer. The sun gives out seven colors of light. Explain why the light from the sun appears to be white. You can comment down the answers below and the right answer would be pinned. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you learned something new today and watch more of our videos here.